What's the next step? Brother Tyler tells me that I'm not on a globe. What? <laughs> I'm not on a globe. I learn, I gain a little bit of uh, spiritual knowledge and I learn flat earth. I learn that the earth is not circular. I'm sorry, it's not a sphere, it is actually flat. So remember, we were the church was great, it was thriving, we were doing good, it was only gonna go up. It was only gonna go up. It was looking like it looked like in the next six months we might even reach 50 if things continue the way that it was going. The sky was the limit. So brother Tyler tells me that the earth is flat. He says, I'm going to preach it next weekend. And he does. And what do we do? 30 people show up for the, for the, for the, uh, for the service. For the, service. <laughs> the biggest service that Brother Tyler has. He preaches and he showed it. He, he did a back-to-back -back sermon. He must have used over, like, over 75 verses, over 100 verses in each. He proved it like, as thoroughly as you possibly can. As thoroughly as you possibly can. And the funny part was, the majority of people in the church, at that time, in the, church, in the physical church, were persuaded. And people were nodding, people were getting it. Afterwards, there was some, uh, there was, we, had a, we had lunch together and people were talking about it. Like, man, this makes sense. I'm going to have to look into this. This is amazing. Um, people were, you know, <laughs> women were talking about, oh, man, I'm going to have to throw out this uh, science book that I bought that has a globe on it. It was amazing. So what ends up happening is, it turns out that the new IFB as a whole decides that they're not going to believe in the flat earth. And what happens is all our church was filled with new IFBers. So basically what happens is over the next few weeks, we're back. We're back to like 10 people, right? We're back to like, we were, at, we're flying high. Now we're back to just ground one. And what happens? Uh-oh. Justin lost. All of the majority, not all, but 95% of his new IFB friends. Again, what is the title of the sermon? The title of the sermon is The Cost of Biblical Knowledge. I am sure that you can see the pattern that is developing, right? I, I, I'm always learning, always learning, always paying a price. No matter what, always paying the price. I had about 20 to 25 new IFB friends. And that was just in New York. Right. That was just in New York. I had new IFB friends all over. I had new IFB friends in uh, California, in Texas, down south, everywhere. I had, I had phone number, I had lists of people I text in the new IFB. I found out about your church from someone in the new IFB texting me from Texas. That's how I found out. I had new IFB friends galore. I was. If, if I was a Facebook page, I was a, someone with a lot of friends. I, was, I had lots of friends. Learn that the earth is flat, all gone. All gone. Not, not just the ones in New York. Not just the ones in New York. All the ones scattered throughout America. No more texts. No more calls. Just done. Just never. And it's been like, you preached that over a year ago. Like a year and a half ago. Not a single text. Not a single phone call. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So what happened? I lost all of my new IFB friends.